Hi, this is Dr. Jennifer Crandall. I'm here to show you my technique for using the Perioade. The Perioade is a toothpick holder that is distributed by the Marquis Dental Manufacturing Company. Here's the address and phone number. They'll send you some toothpicks. What you might find are kind of flimsy. You want to find hard birchwood toothpicks. The ones that from the restaurants have and cellophane are pretty good. You also do not want to follow these instructions. You want to follow the instructions on this video. These have longer toothpicks and angles I don't recommend using unless you're just trying to clean food out between the teeth, but that's not the purpose of this. So what you want to do, you load the toothpick, and this is a perioid three, to about a quarter of an inch to a half inch, tighten it down, break it off so it's flush, tighten it again. So tighten it twice, check to make sure it's in there firm, okay, and tight and then load the other end. So this is double-ended perioid three. You wanna hold this with what's called, we call the modified pen grasp. We hold a pen or pencil with, with um, two fingers like this, right? Uh, most of us do. Modified pen grasp is with three fingers, all right? You can hold it with your knuckles, tips of your fingertips, cradle it this way, roll it around. Just practice rolling it around in your hands. Now, most important thing is to have a good finger rest before you go in your mouth. So you want to separate the fingers and then use your pinky and your um, ring finger as a finger rest. This is the most important step. Otherwise, it's too dangerous to use a toothpick in your mouth. You must have a finger rest, a fulcrum to work off of. Do not pot handle this. Do not hold a toothpick hole like this. Start scrubbing around your teeth. This is dangerous. Modified pen grasp, okay? So, what you're trying to do is you're trying to remove the biofilm off the neck of the tooth. Biofilm is a really nasty, stinky bacteria. It often matches the tooth in color, you can't see it. And the really nasty stuff is hidden underneath the gums. And that is what you're trying to do with this because this is a by feel technique. You can't really see what you're doing, okay? So visualize the concepts that I'm demonstrating here when you're doing this. So here's a simulation of a root surface with biofilm. Now, ideally the bone should be covering the root and the gums kind of folding a little uh, groove up here, right? Um, but if you've lost some bone, then you start having the, the roots with the shapes collecting bacteria underneath the gum. And this bacteria is sticky. So think about scrubbing a pot in your kitchen. You're not gonna use a sponge that's smooth. You're gonna use a sponge with a scrubby side or a Brillo pad because the stuff is very tenacious and sticky. This plaque is very sticky. This is not about removing food. This is about removing the stuff that's causing the problem. It's not the food, it's the sticky bacteria, okay? So you wanna, if my finger is a toothpick, you wanna angle the toothpick at a 45 degree angle so it's pointing toward the center of the tooth and you're gonna use the side of the tip of the toothpick at a 45 degree angle Always point the center of the tooth and be scrubbing to try to scrub off the sticky bacteria, okay? As you go around, you have to keep pivoting it so you're always pointing towards the center of the tooth. Otherwise, you'll start here, you go around, you'll be poking the gum here, all right? So we can break down a different technique where it's, this quadrant of the mouth has no bone loss, okay? The gum turns around and attaches here and there's a little gum pocket or a gum groove. It should be two to three millimeters deep. Your brush and floss can reach that and clean that. But if you've got threes or fours or fives uh, deeper, you can't get there with your brush or floss. This is what this is all about, is to help you clean those surfaces and to clean the whole circumference of the tooth. 45 degrees, okay? And then what you wanna do is you wanna angle this so that you're tipping and using the size of the tip the toothpick here, tilting and cleaning here. So it's like tracing a V. Here's one side of the V, other side of the V, 45 degrees. You're always pointing and pressing toward the center of the tooth as you go around. That way you're not gonna hurt yourself. And then you tip this way and scrub up and down, and then tip that way and scrub up and down. So if this is the gum groove, you're sliding between the, the gum, leaning against the tooth and rubbing, pressing toward the center of the tooth as you go around. If you've lost some bone, which you can't see, only on dental x-rays can you see that, then the gum might be five millimeters deep. If you pull back the gum, 
your root surfaces again have these concavities and grooves or bacteria collecting that you can't see, but you can feel them with the toothpick. So if you go 45 degrees and tilt, you'll, you'll fall into these little valleys and grooves. And that's what you wanna try to do is rub and scrub these surfaces, okay? 45 degrees, notice the good finger rest. So you wanna have a really good finger rest, okay? And then press, stop between the teeth, scrub here and scrub here. Unhealthy gum's gonna be squishy, it's gonna bleed. When it gets healthy, it'll start getting firm and pink and you'll start telling the difference. So by feel, you'll start knowing what's healthy and what's not by just the, the, the how dense and tight and firm the gum is. It's gonna be tender to work around unhealthy gum, but it's like pulling out a splinter. Grin and bear it, always press toward the center of the tooth and this will get pinker and firmer and you'll start noticing that your, the, your gums are getting healthier. Okay, so there you go. Thank you.